Next into the tank, a young entrepreneur who prefers to think inside the box. Hi everyone, my name is Kath Perkis and I'm the CEO and founder of HerFashionBox.com and today I'm here to raise $200,000 for 12% equity in my company. So we're a fashion and beauty box which ships globally. We sell our boxes for $39.95 a month and we effectively do a fashion and beauty box. So we take on-trend fashion accessories paired with the beautiful beauty products and a mini magazine delivering happiness and Christmas every month to all these women around the world. Women sign up with 20 questions, their age, their hair colour, their skin colour, and it means that all of our boxes are actually catered to them. So we have this style profile beyond an email address, which traditionally you'd have an online retail. The HFB has now been going for two and a half years. We've shipped over 25,000 boxes and I've made some special boxes for the sharks today. Oh, fantastic. Ooh, great. Excellent. This is Janine. You always get yours first. Thank you. As I should too. <laughs> so, Glenn, this is your Her Fashion box. Oh, wonderful. Thank you very much. We don't have a men's box, but I have bought the domain names. And Steve. Wow. That's cool. Fishing Lewis and Jim Beam made all. Actually, his fishingbox.com. There you go. <laughs> Who knows? I've got hand care wash. Yes, you need that. Thanks. So when you open the boxes, you'll see obviously the fashion accessories. So we manufacture all of these in China every month. And then the beauty products are beauty brands from Australia who gift to us, so we don't buy them. But it's like a highly targeted marketing campaign for these beautiful beauty brands. So Kath, how much was my box? Landed in Australia with Australia Post shipping locally, it's $20. So you've turned over about half a million dollars so far. 420,000 last year, and 20% is already from America. 420k last financial year, is that right? Yeah, last year. What are you projecting this one, mate? Hopefully 800. Kath, what's your profit for the year? Uh, last year it was 120,000. And does that, does that include your salary or not? No, once we add salaries, we're still not making a profit. We're nowhere near making a profit. So you're probably looking at negative net revenue for, for a couple yeah, of years. Yeah, until we hit a point where we break even, which is obviously, you know, quite important. We need to keep when growing. When is break even? Uh, it's at 2,000 boxes at the moment, but with capital raise, it'll be 4,000 boxes. Do you have other investors? Uh, we do. We've got investors. Right, OK. Yeah. So how, how much have others invested? Uh, so we've raised two rounds of capital. So 250 each for each You've raised 500 k That makes Total. a lot more sense. Yes. And so what, what do you own, mate? Uh, so I'm currently on 51%. What was your last capital raising you've done at? Uh, 250 at uh, 2.5. I was going to say, so this is a down round for your last investment. This is a special Shark Tank one, yeah. So you value the sharks? Absolutely. I want to scale this and I know my business, I know my investors right. and they back me. So you're planning to make 800,000 in turnover? Absolutely. I... What would stop you getting that? Marketing dollars. <laughs> I just need to market this business properly. How many subscribers will you think you'll need to convert? We want to get to 6,000 subscribers in the next two years. And with your experience of two and a half years in this business, what's the retention rate on those 6,000? Everyone stays for six months. Do you know the cost per customer? Our CPA is $35 at the moment. So that means it takes two months to get a return on your cost of acquisition? That's right. So that means you get four months profit, which is $80, which then goes to pay for the rest of the business. Exactly. This is no broken wing business. You've got a, a lot of traction. You've gone a long way. You've got a plan to raise more money and you've actually left yourself with a sizable chunk of the company. But I think subscription boxes are the next group buying. I, I don't understand how that can be a long-term business. You have done fantastically. I'm looking forward to be proven wrong. So good luck, mate, but I'm out. Oh, thank you. Thanks, Steve. Hi, guys. I absolutely applaud what you've done. And clearly, you see the value of sharks because you've discounted your valuation based on what we would bring to the market. My biggest concern about your business is your churn rate. Yes. 
And that is because people only stay for six months. And the return on what it's costing you to get and the spend, the numbers aren't yet falling out for me as an investment. I'm sure I'll see you around and I'm sure I'll be a great advocate, but it's not a business for me. I'm out. Thank you. You are an incredibly impressive businesswoman. It's rare to find someone pitching on the Shark Tank that absolutely nailed every answer. So you've got a very, very good business head on you. Um, I guess the part I'm struggling with is the area that you're playing. You know, this fast fashion, I agree with you. It's reinventing yourself on a regular basis. In terms of how much value I add, probably not a lot. So, Kath, I'm out. Kath, you're a smart young lady, and I think you are going to make money. I don't think your model is quite right yet, and mm. I think you know that. Probably yeah. why you're here for some answers. You like a lot of businesses close, but not close enough. However, I, I think you're worth backing. Holy crap. Perkis is hoping for a $200,000 investment for 12% of a business called Her Fashion Box. But with three already out, she's fast running out of sharks to do a deal with. Uh, I think you're worth backing. And it's going to be subject to get, you've got to be on a plane within one month to the United States. I've got to have you in a room with my daughter, who's a celebrity stylist. Holy crap. And she's going to have a very smart lady who's an expert in online marketing coming down from Seattle. You're going to be in a room with those ladies. And after that meeting, and subject to us tweaking your model, yeah. I'm going to make you an offer. I'm going to make you an offer of 200000 at 15%. Yep. Fantastic. Oh, I'm about to cry. Well, <laughs> Holy crap, we got but I don't talk to Janine. Janine has to go yet. Oh, my and God. And I get to keep the glasses. It's yours. <laughs> it's yours. <laughs> oh, God. My two lists, right? So on the negative, I've got six months opt out, no profit, long way to go. Is it a novelty that people think it's a good idea for a few months and then go, oh, bit over it? Model's not quite right. So they're my sort of negatives. Yeah. Positives, I've written Kat. <laughs> and Kat. And that's a big positive, right? But does it outweigh all of these other negatives? And I'm trying to balance it out. Um... Team up with Andrew. I think you'd make a good combination, an Australian mentor and an American base. Look, the, the reality, I, I've spoken to um, Andrew's daughter and she's a gun, she's amazing and, um, and very connected in this space. Um, look, I, I'll put an offer forward. It is 200,000 for 20%, but I do want to share it with Andrew if Andrew would take me um, and I can look after you in Australia and then um, we can really drive the US. So we get 10% each. Yeah, but my offer isn't probably on my own on this one, so it's either with Andrew or I'm out. Yeah. OK. Kath, you came in wanting 200000 for 12% and you've got a shark offering you 200000 for 15% with subject to meeting with his daughter and another shark who's offering you 200,000 for 20% and wants Andrew along as well. Yeah. I'm thinking that's pretty greedy on their behalf. It's all very well for someone who doesn't write a check to give you some advice. The reality is though, the business is not making money. Not yet, no. You know, I, I think Glenn is way out of line and I think that he's way off board and I think it's very sad if he talks you out of a deal because I think that the value that we can get with our infrastructure and having a mentor that has a vested interest in the business. Janine, I want you as an investor, so is there a way that we can make it work for 16% for 200 between both yourself and Andrew? 
because I really would love you on board and I think you're fabulous. I think she's worth the investment. Done. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's take on the world. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm about Hell to cry. Yeah. Well done, Kat. Well done. Thank you, you so much. Take Thank care. You. Well done, Kat. Thank Kat. you. Bye, guys. Wow. Well, I'm, I'm happy. We're going to rock and roll with this. I think it's going to be good. Dad? Oh, my gosh. I actually am in shock. You blew them away. They're incredible sharks and incredible investors, so I'm so excited.